I know. Have you guys see what was happening last week during uh, January? Yeah, right when Epstein stuff came out, a uh, hundred and stuff. some cop cars downtown Miami. People were saying they were aliens. Black people were recording shit like, "Oh <laughs> shit, tripping out." You know, I saw some black, the, the most famous guy. She got hit by the car. Oh, so yeah, that, the guy brought it. Yeah, a black guy was running because he thought it was aliens, and he got clipped. It was, dude. He, you think he's dead? He has Definitely. to be dead. But, aliens um, are dumb enough to go to Miami. They're no threat to us. Yeah, exactly. that's so funny. So Rob, but you, uh, uh, they came to visit us. Apparently, when do you think? Do you think we're gonna go there anytime soon? Go visit some aliens? Are we gonna go to outer space? Do you think we've ever been there? Uh, well, I don't know. I question everything after last week's episode of The Firmament. I <laughs> really blew my mind. Oh, that guy, real, uh, what was his name? Um, Cosway. His name is not Mechanic. <laughs> Cosway. Co- Co- Cosway. Cosway Lewis. Uh, very good episode. If you're not familiar with The Firmament, go watch last week's episode. Um, it just It's odd, the timing, because we covered The Firmament last week about how there may or may... We live in a dome. There may not even be an outer space. Um, and then this week, the NASA had uh, some issues with their planned Artemis upcoming launches and uh, man back to the moon. But uh, I just want to give some background. You talked about when we were doing the, uh, the tunnels with the Jewish folks in New York. Um, you talked about fact. And I wanted to present a few facts according to NASA about the space program and kind of where we're at and then get your opinions on the moon landing and if we ever went. Um, The entire Apollo program spanned uh, a little over 11 years, 61 to 1972, cost $25.4 billion in 1973 dollars, which equated to today would be about $150 billion. To put that into perspective, we've spent half of that sending it to Ukraine. $75 $75 billion to date. So um, we could go back to the moon, have another Apollo program if we didn't keep funding <laughs> back more wars. In quotation marks, How apparently. How many countries do you think have been to the moon? Two. Two. Uh, I'd, I'd say two or three. Russia, so, right, it's, it's Russia three. China. If you believe, on, are we saying that we believe that we've been there? No, I'm just asking how many countries do you believe? I would say how many countries believe have been to the moon? Like right. in terms of man Zero, on the actually. moon? Oh, no, just having something reach the moon. Okay. Oh, something? something. Brandon, Brandon, you don't think something's on it? No. I think, oh, I, I can't wait. Wait, you don't think we've ever, you think we've landed on it before? I've seen, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't trust huh? any, well, God. Well, we're talking you know, facts I will, right now. Well, according to NASA. According to NASA. Well, NASA's, uh, I don't trust NASA. How, how many NASA government started space by the Nazis, administrations so. talk about <laughs> going to the moon? They say that. Four countries have landed on the moon. Uh, only one country, the United States, has actually landed man on the moon, but four different countries. Russia reached it in 59 with a spacecraft. The United States in 69 with Neil Armstrong. China also China. reached it in 2013. And India was the latest, the fourth country to yeah, okay. uh, land on the moon. Which is the least believable. <laughs> India? Wait, India? India? No way. Does India have rockets? They don't even have roads. <laughs> yeah. Here's the, here's the thing. You know India didn't go. Because if they had, the lunar capsule would have had like 50 dudes hanging off the side <laughs> when it landed. No, it would be funny to say, one giant leap for me, but whatever, I'm here. <laughs> you know, the one for mankind, whatever. Oh, I got How many men do you think have walked on the moon? Never a woman, oddly enough. Very sexist. What NASA a sexist plan. <laughs> I'm leaving. Up NASA. Three. Three. Yeah, I'm leaving. Three? Yeah. Um, zero. Zero. Back yeah. to zero. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you know how many men have, according to NASA, have walked on the moon? According to NASA? Yes. Two? Two? I would say two if they did. If they did the NASA, them. we've had 12 different astronauts walk um, on the moon, six different space uh, space missions to the moon okay. that were successful. Apollo 11, Apollo 12, Apollo 14, 15, 16, and 17. The last time a man stepped foot on the moon, a person was on the moon, was back in 1972. That was the last time we were actually on the moon. Currently, there are nine countries across the United States that are trying to go to the moon. China, the United States, Russia, India, Canada, Europe, Japan... Israel and the United Arab Emirates all making a play to go to the moon. However, could you imagine if the if the uh, the astronauts from Israel and the UAE ran into each other? On they the get moon? up there, oh, like, really? We came all this way, <laughs> just floating, and they're like, uh, hey, <laughs> we, "We were here first. This is our moon." Yeah, no, 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 like, so no. no. the Palestinians yeah. in an open air prison, oh, oh, so and, it's, and it's literally open air there. Yeah. <laughs> no atmosphere. No, no atmosphere. atmosphere. Uh, no atmosphere prison. Go ahead. Uh, just this week. Uh, a country, uh, a country, a company called Astrobotic. Uh, they had a mission to land a spacecraft on the moon. However, that mission had to be abandoned because they ran out of fuel. Now, I made the equation Weird. to you guys earlier. I've driven to work a hundred times, two hundred times. You know why I've never ran out of gas on the way here? A, I drive a Tesla, but I've never ran out of battery power <laughs> because I know exactly how far it is. Yeah. I, you know why? Because I've been here. 
200, 300 times. If you go to a place a bunch of times, how likely is it that you run out of fuel trying to get there? Yeah. Seems mm -hmm. odd. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you're me, you might, but NASA shouldn't. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> my wife's like, no, you have an extra 40 miles well, when they well, empty like, I, I, I like no. That raises a pretty valid point then. Because you were talking about, we went to the moon when NASA was all men. Now NASA has a bunch of women, and you've just admitted women run out of gas. Yeah, we can't have so, that. It's a lot, ladies. That's it. Oh, Thanks man. Sorry, women. But, Sorry, ladies. <laughs> feminism over. Very we'll never walk on the moon. Both of these stories came out yesterday. Mon oh, I'm sorry, Monday. So Monday, January 9th, this story comes out. The space uh, fuel leak forces the company to abandon the moon landing attempt. Then uh, this was announced also Monday. NASA has delayed the Artemis moon missions. They were going to send four astronauts to the moon. It was originally scheduled... Doesn't say when it was scheduled, but now it's delayed until September of 2025. They say the delays are attributed to the need for testing new technologies on the Orion spacecraft and crewed moon missions. Uh, Put it down because I want to see your face in the. Oh, okay. okay sorry. I want to. I want people to see your face. But go uh, ahead, Rob. If you could just hold my hand while you're this. Me. <laughs> uh, NASA has spent over 42 billion over the past decade. 42 the, billion. 42 in 10 billion. Years? So almost as much as we've sent to Ukraine, trying to get people back to the moon, but we're not able to do it. Oh and Ukraine's losing. What a shitty. What a. What a. We're horrible. definitely not getting him if we send to Ukraine. <laughs> How much better our technology is now. But That's the, the point. There's that thing they like to show of, you know, here's the computing power that got us to the moon. It's a room full of. Uh, servers and everything. Correct. And then, like, here's a, here's a flash drive. It's ten times. That. Yeah, shut yes. up. But I don't yet, we, it. Still we still can't get, get there. A place that we've been to at least six times. Mm -hmm. um, the reasons why they say we don't go back to the moon? Cost. Right? It costs too much to go back to the moon. What's the point? We've already been there. Technological focus. They say that the technological focus shifted towards developing space shuttles and the, the space station and creating that as opposed to going back to the moon. The scientific value, they say there's no value in exploring the moon hmm. anymore. I guess you learned that in six trips to the moon. That's it. We've seen everything. We're no, good here. That. And then finally, international collaboration is a reason why we no longer go because all these countries are now working together to get to space. It's not so much a space race, but more of a space mission for all of us to work Almost together like to get there. competition makes everything better. Sure. Quick what? thing, though. So, um, like, is it a coincidence the two richest people in the world are drastically, like, obsessed with going to outer space and ultimately colonizing space? Because Bezos did his first public interview there Dan Friedman. He said his life goal is to uh, get a trillion people colonized in outer space within the next couple hundred years. And a so trillion people? He wants a trillion people to be living in outer space. And he said the primary reason he quit Amazon or resigned from Amazon's CEO is to get his uh, space company, like, you know, operational in space and whatnot. So... You think it's a, that's just a coincidence that the two richest people are obsessed with outer space? No, but it's almost like a god complex. Like, hey, I can save you all. I'm going to oh, save humanity. Because here on this planet, it seems like we're pretty fucked, right? Oh, things are not think? Things are yeah. not heading in the best of directions, as we've learned today's broadcast. Um, it almost feels like it's like a god, god complex. Nobody can save you, but I can help save you. Yeah. Blue Origin is going to save you by getting you established on a Mars colony or... It, that, that's how it feels to me that these billionaires think that they can play God by saving humanity. And, or, and then on the flip side, you have those two that want to get the hell out of here. Mark Zuckerberg, who I don't think he likes to fly, is like, I'm just going to build a doomsday bunker because <laughs> I'm staying here. <laughs> Everybody's going to die up there, but I'll be good for 10 years. Maybe you guys will come back and help he's me out. He's got his own cattle now that he's he's uh, feeding them beer and some kind of nuts that the internet went crazy about. But yeah. <laughs> beer and nuts. So he has his own cattle now, so he's now he has his own livestock, so he has his own food supply. Here's a new thing. Oh, not that we're there. I got my own bunker and food supply. Don't look here, though. I'm new theory yeah. for you. Guys at the Chabad Center were trying to tunnel down into a doomsday uh -huh. bunker that they have yeah. underneath. Why did they just say that? Like, guys, we're just trying to build. Mm. Because there's, you know, bombs. You never know. <laughs> uh, the, here's the thing. So I went back and forth about that. Like, because, like, it's hard to... I know this is weird, but it's kind of believable that we didn't land on the moon. You know why? Because our government told us that we did. <laughs> and our government doesn't really seem to be the most honest with us, when, right? When have they ever been honest? I, Never. That's when it starts to become questionable. Have they ever been? Like, trust me, I'm from the government. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's, I, I think Tom Ellsworth is most the one that said yeah, 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 the worst thing you can hear is, hi, we're here from the government, we're here, here to help. Here to help. <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, okay. So part of the reason that the, 
the idea behind the moon landing being fake falls apart. Um, they say that you'd have to keep the 12 astronauts who walked on the moon quiet. You'd have to keep the 400,000 people involved in the Apollo program quiet. And then you'd also have to uh, discredit the 8,400 publicly available photos, the thousands of hours of video, the full transcripts and audio recordings of the moon, the 382 kilograms of moon rock. There's even a photo right here. This is taken from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's a uh, satellite that NASA owns and, and operates. It takes high resolution pictures of the lunar surface. And what they see, what you're seeing here is, uh, according to NASA, the landing sites and the abandoned modules that they have sent to the that moon. That could be a past. high school kid with bad acne's face and black and white. <laughs> we wouldn't know shit. Uh, they say Armstrong and uh, Buzz Aldrin also planted a lunar laser. It's a laser that is used to reflect lasers from the, uh, America that are sent to the moon to measure the moon's distance from Earth. Oh, that's believable. That right there. That little thing. <laughs> that we left in 1969. That, that little thing. Space lasers. Uh, yeah, 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 laser beam. You, you hear space lasers and it's a deranged conspiracy theory. But, but the, we, they, we just dropped a little thing up there to reflect things back. Yes, yeah, so we can measure how far the moon is. <laughs> was it a, that wasn't a bag of wheat. What is that? How far away is the moon? Like, did they not know that before Tell they me, what went is up? That? Is it a book bag? <laughs> Look, we're already polluting. This. We need Greta Thunberg on the moon to <laughs> yeah. save it. Greta Thun. You have stolen my moon dreams. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, you. there's always, here's some of the reasons why people point to the moon landing being fake. Um, they say there's images where crosshairs appear in many Apollo images, and some of those crosshairs actually, because back in when they used cameras, um, they would have to develop the film, and there would be crosshairs, and according to people on the internet who don't believe that we landed on the moon, the crosshairs that appear in the Apollo images sometimes appear behind objects in the photo. Uh, the claims are that if the images on the moon were real, this would be impossible, just suggesting that somebody used Photoshop and planted those arrows on or the mm. crosshairs on. However, uh, the NASA's argument to that is that testing on Earth has shown that the brightly lit objects uh, they will sometimes make the crosshairs appear fainter. So it's more of an optical illusion when you're looking at the photo. <laughs> Another one, lack of stars. Whenever you look at photos from the moon, look, there's no stars, right? Oh, that's odd. You're in outer space. Shouldn't yeah. there be stars? No atmosphere for light to reflect off NASA of? says that most of the moon missions took place in the daytime, <laughs> and that meant starlight lost the battle against a very bright surface lost for the moon. The battle. There's another weird one. There's a moon rock. It's got a C on it. Look, people, <laughs> people claim that that is proof. If you don't believe that the moon landing happened, the reason why, if there's you believe in this, that that's a prop from a movie. So uh, that's on the moon. However, uh, according to NASA, they say the original photo, there is no anomaly. The C isn't there. Most likely it's a piece of hair that ended up <laughs> what on a photo. The hell? It's all these weird ex ex explanations. Ex yeah, exactly. And nobody questions the answer. The final yeah. one, the waving flag. Everybody goes, well, if there's no atmosphere on the moon, how can the flag fly? According to NASA, a horizontal rod was placed at the top of the pole that held the flag so it looks like it's blowing in the wind. And then the final one, the Van Allen belts, you know, the internet says, well, the astronauts couldn't have survived the radiation from the, uh, the, the Van Allen belts, which are two giant donut-shaped belts surrounding the Earth that are made of highly energetic charged particles from solar wind. Um, according to this, the you know people on the internet claim that we didn't land on the moon, say that the astronauts could not have survived going through the Allen Belt, uh, the Van Allen Belt. However, according to NASA, the way that they survived was going through those minimal points where there seems to be very little radiation. They also had you know special suits for the astronauts. They do say that the astronauts, if they did go through the Van Allen Belt and went to the moon and came back, when they tested their radiation level, it was about ten times more that than medical professionals who are routinely exposed to x-rays and radiation in the medical field. So they did have significant levels of radiation in their body, just not enough to kill them. Uh, but it just makes me wonder, do you guys think, after all of this, we've presented, you know, both, both sides. Here's photos of no stars. Here's why NASA says there's no stars. Here's a weird moon rock. Here's the explanation behind it. The flag. The explanation behind it. The Van Allen belt. The explanation behind it, according to NASA. Do you believe we landed on the moon? Do you believe that we landed on the moon in 1969 when we say we landed on the moon? And why do you think we haven't been back? 
because we are. We're launching rockets into space, yeah. right? Uh, Elon Musk wants to go to Mars. Right now, it seems like the next move to get to Mars would be to make the moon a mission base, to put a base on the moon so that that would be a launching point for people to go to Mars. Mm -hmm. That's some of the rumors as to why people want to continue to explore the moon. But I'm wondering your guys' opinion. Have we landed? If we have, why haven't we been back? Go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, no, I definitely don't, don't think we have landed because I think the government isn't cost efficient, isn't really sophisticated and capable of doing something like this. So I think the private sector has a much better chance of actually, you know, advancing through space and doing things like this. I think it was just a publicity thing in the 60s. You know, we had better, um, you know, ho Hollywood uh, was more equipped than NASA. And so Hollywood made it look like we went to the moon because even the cameras and stuff, like how do you have your cameras being operable on the moon? And like who's standing there filming? It, like with the Van Allen belt, like that wouldn't that like destroy the camera? Who was there watching the landing come down? Yeah. By the way, and then the, the phone call to Nixon. What, what did you right, have? Wi-Fi? Yeah, and people were watching it on TV so, while you're like, like we didn't have satellite it. TV. How did video get back? Exactly. So but, propaganda. You think? You think it's more yeah, propaganda? It, we're in which a, was a race too. with the Russians. Yeah. It, it, we are now the the dominant country in the world because we're the first ones to land man on the moon no other country has been able to do it yeah it was great for morale you know they, they it was effective and i respect them for doing it because you know it was made the country feel good but i if i had to bet i would say no we didn't do it back then what do you think the moon is do you think the moon's actually real like after yeah yeah i'm not gonna go like that it, crazy. it is a you think it is there yeah, i think it's a thing you just I, don't think <laughs> they can reach it. it's an actual planet I, I just don't think that the government's capable of reaching it because the government isn't really Super um, competent in building. No, nope. even the program, things. even the right, the rocket that ran out of fuel that they just pulled this week. The technology, the astrobiotic technology, the company, their mission was financially backed by NASA with a exactly. hundred and eighty million dollar contract as part of NASA's commercial lunar program. So even even when the government is hiring companies to go to the moon, they're spending the money. And financing it, it's still not getting there because the government is incompetent. Yeah, because what stakes does NASA really have? You know, they're not going to, like, go out of business or lose their jobs if they screw up their mission. But Elon Musk is going to go out of business if his rockets are, aren't profitable or if he isn't, isn't able to get NASA contracts. So, you know, his rockets are already costing a fraction of what NASA's do because they're able to be reused, which is a groundbreaking thing for uh, as far as rockets go. And they're cool to watch. You ever watch the rockets shoot up and then they, he'll land them back down? Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Insane. That's insane. Connor, what do you think? You think we landed on the moon? So... I, am, like all of you, am somewhat skeptical, but I do think we went, but I believe the video is fake for the reasons Brandon just said. So you think I, we went at a later date, but we used proper I mean, data I, I, to make I think it seem. Maybe we went the first time. I, it's hard to say, but I think we went up there and like, well, no one's going to believe us if we just say it. So we got to film it. But how, how are you going to do a TV broadcast from the moon? How are you going to make a phone call from the moon? doesn't make any sense. We couldn't do that yet. So I think they went. And also had a video that they aired at the same time that they filmed on a soundstage that yeah. shows the guys landing. And they're like, okay, we're going to go up there, but no one's going to see it. So let's make a video about it. Uh, I think we have probably gone back at least once or twice. Um, I, I don't believe the whole thing's a conspiracy theory, but I do believe government incompetence has slowed us down a lot. And I think what's happened since, that, since then, part of why we can't go back is because we've handicapped ourselves with so many other things. Like, it used to be a, our consuming national passion to go to the moon, to beat the Russians. We were motivated by competition. And now it's just a globalist, pan-humanity mission to get up there. For, for, for the sake of all mankind, we're going to partner with all these people. Okay, but you guys need a few billion dollars. We'll chip that into your war effort. And, oh, you guys are doing something else. Oh, oh there's a crisis in Africa. We'll invest the equivalent of five Marshall plans into ha helping Africa at the same time. Mm -hmm. it's like, we aren't driven anymore. And it, it sounds really cliche to say, like, we stopped believing. But we kind of did. Like, we gave up on doing ambitious things because now we do stupid things instead. So I, I think it's entirely possible to go back, but we've got to restructure our priorities a little bit. Taylor and then Vinny. I believe we've gone to the moon, but I don't, I don't know if it's when they said that we did. Okay. That's what I would say. On so you, you think we've, we've been? I would, think, I would say we've been to the moon by then. I agree. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. I think we went. I don't think we went when we did. I think it seems like the propaganda, after being subjected to propaganda for pretty much my entire adult life by the mainstream media, mm -hmm. I start to question everything. And then it happens. You go, oh. But I go, you know what? I could see how 
we need to beat the Russians. Let's tell them that we beat the Russians, and then we'll figure out how to get there later. The question becomes, how come we can't get there today? But so you think it was secretive the second the time they actually went, though? Yeah. I think because you can't come back out. Yeah, you can't be like, oh, this was our first time, and it was years later. Why can't it just be a second mission, though? Like, why would they keep that secret? Well, they, I guess they could say we can we went back. I would say we've been, but I'm skeptical to say that that's when we went. But I would also say, like, I can't fully disagree. Like, I. It makes sense. Like we wanted to beat the Russians, and so we said we went. So yeah. from a like a leverage sta standpoint from countries, like it makes sense why we would have done what we've done. I, dude, I'm so, I'm on the fence. Especially after listening to Causeway, hearing the stuff that you do, all the videos are out there, all the information. I just, dude, and when it comes to the secrecy of it, it's like, especially with all the stuff that we talked about with 9/11, with all these major events. I don't, know, I don't know if it was Hitler or I think it was Goebbels. Somebody, somebody in his thing said, the bigger the lie, the easier it is to sell to the, like the people will, will buy it. They'll buy it, especially if your propaganda machine is good. I don't know, I, I, I try to figure out, was it that big of a, was it worth the risk to do it, to just say, okay, we're beating Russia to keep the morale of us because we're going to war with them? And I don't know, it, it is really, really awkward and weird and suspicious when people, forgot the guy's name, when he was running up to Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, or whoever the Bart guy. Bart Seibel, I think. Well, yeah, <laughs> and he was put in the Bible, but, and they're Christians, and all he said was, hey, if you went to the moon, put your hand in the Bible. And Rob, mind you, we do it in court. Every, even, but you never notice that too. Even if you're Muslim, if you go to court, they make you put your hand in the Bible. Weird, yeah. right? So why why wouldn't you do it? I don't know, I think, I, do I genuinely, I genuinely don't even, I, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them if they if they did, and I wouldn't put it past them if they didn't. Because if they if and you nailed it, if they went the second time, what well, you can't be like, all right, we we, we did gotcha, it, gotcha, <laughs> but we did it now. It's like, what well, would you? How do you think the people would respond to that? Okay, listen, guys, I'm ready for this? The president at, at the time, whoever it's gonna be, guys, listen, we lied. We did it for <laughs> us though. We were against Russia. We needed it. We needed this 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 monumental moment. But now we actually, this is the footage, we did it. You think, how do you think the American no, people you, respond? You can't say it that way. Like, I would, like, even if they didn't do it, like, if I was president and found out we didn't go to the moon, I wouldn't admit it because it's bad for morale. It makes the government look bad. But like shit. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm saying, like, if we did go a second time after, like, just saying we did the first time, what would be the point in keeping that secret, the fact that we went in general? Like, why, why couldn't it just be the second moon mission? Yeah, I, yeah, no, you make a point. What do you think, Rob? You didn't, did you say? I, I... I don't know now. Rob, Rob, <laughs> was point. I was kind Rob of a Taylor, Rob. but then I hear Brandon. I'm like, it's a good point. My brain, why wouldn't they do it? Yeah. I know it's crazy, but that, that, it's just a topic that I'm like, I'm not saying I don't care. Obviously, I want to know what the hell's up there. But after we did the, you know, the whole firmament and the, the rockets, if you notice, they, they go sideways. And dude, who, who knows what's up there? And guess what we have to do? We have to believe the government because they're the only ones that are up there. And you know if I, mean? I could make one point, but if let's say we did do it again, mm -hmm. and then they showed actual footage and it didn't show, it didn't align with Match? the footage from yeah. the beginning, then it's like, ah, oh, uh -huh. we can't do that because then it's different. Uh -huh. What's your answer to that, Brandon? <laughs> well, think of the crazy answers they gave for like, like why? The, oh, it wasn't a C on the thing; it was a hair. But hair's. now the stars. But now the flag <laughs> doesn't well, look the it same. Was, it was nighttime this time. We used a different flag. <laughs> well, you.